Okay, TRS-80 Model 1 Power Supply, Take 1. This is a um, TRS-80 Model 1 Power Supply um, designed by Dean Bear in Canberra um, designed for a TRS-80 Model 1 computer if the um, owner of them is missing the standard power supply brick or your own power supply brick has um, worn out or blown up or something otherwise you haven't got it so uh, just to start off I've got the computer running here um, on a standard Tandy Australian white power supply and we can see the TRS-80 is powered up and displaying its usual startup stuff on the screen so we will shut that machine down disconnect the local Australian power supply and now we've got the one here from Dean's design plugging that in now okay that's in place Dean's design uses two transformers a capacitor a bridge rectifier and that's basically it. It's got some other components there, a resistor and a lead to let you know that it's on and a couple of fuses to protect the transformers but basically it's quite a simple uh, elegant design. So we will uh, plug that one into the mains down here which is plugged in and we can see it's little red lead there is glowing so we've got power on the power supply so let's fire up the model one and off it goes beautiful so that's the Dean Bear design power supply uh, that's a 240 volt version for use in Australia um, I'm going to uh, follow this video up um, shortly with uh, mounting it into the expansion interface and adding a second um, power connector to power both the TRS-80 and the expansion interface but uh, if all goes to plan, which I'm sure it will, this uh, little power supply here will have plenty of um, power to, to drive all the components of the um, keyboard uh, Model 1 16K computer 32k expansion interface with um, double density adapter and uh, serial port so uh, bear with me I'll be back in a moment okay so I've set up my model 1 system this is my main one that I use for all my work the monitors sitting up here power supply is presently sitting in there but um, there's a way to mount it which I'll um, explain in a in the future in another video so we've got our expansion interface computer disk drive monitor disk drive and monitor are turned on so we'll turn on the expansion and then the computer aha there's our favorite garbage screen I've put in the disk then and press reset and off it goes so that's my model one running on the um, power supply designed by Dean uh, Bear in Canberra I'll be um, making these on a um, on a uh, as needed basis for people um, they're custom made um, and yeah if you're interested let me know they're a, um, a um, essential product for these computers and um, yeah it's uh, we'll, um, we'll hopefully shortly be designing a 120 volt version for uh, American computers um, so that we can sell this uh, this power supply both in Australia and the United States so if you're interested drop me a line thanks for watching oh yes there's one more thing I wanted to mention 
Uh, my Model 1 is a um, fully maxed out system which will be um, requiring maximum load on that power supply. Uh, it has a double density kit in it, uh, serial board, 48k memory, lowercase modification, um, voice and um, so it's got as much hung off the um, expansion interface in the computer as possible so it's providing uh, maximum load on the um, the power supply so I'll be running it like this uh, from now on as a running test bed and um, yeah I will uh, update any news on this power supply if it um, if it affects it in any way but it looks like at the moment we've got a, uh, a good power supply uh, a good replacement power supply for a model one with uh, lots of power in reserve for uh, for um, modifications on the and upgrades on the standard computer um, another great thing about it if it isn't already obvious it only takes one power point to plug it into not a pair of them when you're running dual standard um, power supplies so the setups much neater okay once again thanks for watching